Hey guys, what is going on? This is Zip of Rage Quit TV. Got some replays to cast for you guys. We have I am MVP spawning as the Red Terran. And I believe this is Sella. I'm not exactly sure. It looks like his name. I googled it. It looked like a picture of him. A picture of him came up. And I recognize kind of what it is. Google Translate recognize I mean. I mean, I don't recognize the actual Han Ghoul of it. But... Google Translate kind of said, like, the Great Seller, or uh, the Slayer's Seller, or Seller. It said something that was, uh, loosely kind of related to Seller. And, uh, well, the picture came up as Seller. Liquipedia says it's him, so I'm going to be assuming it's him. We do have a wall coming out from MVP at, uh, 10. And again, one last thing, because I just downloaded these replays, I don't know what event this is from. There were three games all played within near the same time. So it's either a best of three or a best of five. Again, I don't know, but we do have three games in line for you guys, so you will know if it's a BO3 or BO5 after probably game number two. So, uh, keep watching. We do have, uh, Cello looking like he is gonna possibly go for a uh, hatch first. I'm assuming he will. It is against a Terran player, but I've seen some Zergs Start avoiding hatch first on Taldrim Altar just because it's so easy to abuse with Reapers. I've seen Terran start getting like two uh, bunkers right here and using the Reaper just to jump on the high ground and kill things if things go to attack them. Just jump back down, jump back up and attack again or sit on the low ground and attack. Reapers just can abuse this whole area and it's pretty easy to get a bunker up. I don't know if that's what MVP will be doing this game. I've only seen it a few times. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it was actually all foreigners who did it. But I'm assuming Greek, uh, Koreans will know that strategy because they know all of the early openers and late openers. Maybe they don't know Mass and Fester style too well, but they're learning it. I have started seeing Slayer's Gold and start using Mass and Fester's, and that is pretty awesome to see that translating over onto the Korean server. SCV is going to come here, see the hatch first, we'll see if he throws down a bunker. I'm assuming he will, just because, well, why not? He is placing the bunker right here, and the Marine is on the way. Seller will have to take out this one SCV. He does have three drones going, so not really overcommitting too much to this. And we'll see if the SCV does some magic and gets to the other side, and uh-oh. Look at this SCV life. They're not attacking him. That SEV is alive and well. And he just went to an unhittable spot. And again, that one bunker, I'm not positive it's unhittable. But the drones didn't hit him. And if it's a, a massive one drone could possibly hit that SEV. So it's not going to go down anytime soon. Another Marine is coming. That one does get into the bunker. We have an SEV in the back trying to appear it. And, uh, is he focusing the lings down? No, he's attacking a drone right now, and drone is attacking the SCV, so it looks like this bunker will be going down. He killed, uh, one drone so far, and one ling, and looks like that's gonna be all he does. Seller doing a great job microing those injured drones back. Now this marine is out of the bunker because it blew up. He is gonna be trying to find out what he sees. I'm gonna try to take a ling one-on-one, -on -one, and it looks like the ling does run away, but two more come, and that marine is gonna be going down. And I have to say, that was pretty nice for Sella to recognize, hey, you know what? My drone's getting hurt. I can just pull him back, and it's only one million, so I don't have to worry about really anything. Didn't really lose any drones. Go to this worker kill count. He's lost two, and he's killed one SEV. So it's coming to be looking pretty good for Sella, but that was not really much at all. It was just one barracks and a bunker. The Hellions are now on the way from MVP. And Sella doesn't really look like he is prepared for this. He is building four lings at ling speed just about done. Getting a spine crawler. The second queen is coming. She is off creep. There's nothing protecting this mineral line now, but it does take three shots for a Helen to kill a drone. Nothing getting hit there. Now one drone gets hit. And uh, one drone's gone down so far. Two drones look like they've gone down. Speed not done yet. There's queens off of that creep. And looks like one Hellion. No, that doesn't go down. That Spine Claw, though, is nearing completion. Lings take out one Hellion. Now there's only one remaining. It's going to take a while for one Hellion to kill a drone. It's not too scary without that blue flame. And he does manage to avoid too much damage. He lost five drones in that one. So that was a little bit more successful than the first. But again, it doesn't look like that was 
pretty much anything MVP Lily had as he does have another attack coming in this time with four Hellions. And now Stella looks like he is going to try to do a little bit of a counter attack. The second command center is finished for MVP. The wall is down and the Lings run in. And now he is going to be taking out some SCVs. Goes immediately on hold position. One, two, three. Five, I think, maybe. Yes, he did get five SCVs there. So now he's kind of evened up the worker kill counts. And this command center is going to land. And Sella is putting his spine collar down here. Because he's worried about the tank siege on this lower ground position. That is so hard to deal with as a Zerg. You pretty much just have to say, okay, I'm going to trade bases with you. That base is down. I'm going to be... Moving over to another base, it is so hard to defend. We'll see if he can defend it, if that's what MVP is going for. He is getting tanks, getting siege tech, so I'm assuming that is indeed what MVP is going to do. We have a few Hellions going to be coming in. The Spine Cola is all the way down here, so the Hellions walk right in to that natural. Three Queens, though, and oh my god, this is a Korean player who has connected his bases with creep. And you don't really see them. The Queen, oh, she could have blocked those Hellions if she just stayed there. But she kept on moving. Land these Hellions now get into the main. And one went down there. Another one. Another two. Another one. So lots of drones going down. The Lings have come back. And the Hellions do end up getting taken out. 14 drones dead. So I think 7 drones died there. And so it looks like he's just really playing like MVP is going to do this any minute now. He is so geared up to protect that. It is ridiculous. Leaves one Ling on this watchtower. Now his Lings are going back here so they can go in for a counterattack. When he starts seeing MVP move out. And what will MVP do? The wall is going up, so that will be good. It will allow him to move out and keep a few units back at home. Sella doesn't really have anything to quickly take out Supply Depot. I guess Lings can attack them, but he doesn't really have... Does he have a Banelings Nest? I don't recall seeing one. No, he doesn't. He has a lot of Queens, though. That is, let's see, four Queens for two hatches, so he's got a, quite a few. I think they should be out and about spreading creep. He's only got one tumor really working. Now this one queen looks like she is going. She was kind of questioning. She's like, oh, do I, do I or not, do I? And decided, yes, I do. I'm going to spread that creep. And now going to be doing another tumor, hopefully. MVP, though, just turtling up right now. He is getting a dropship out. And Sella just waiting to pounce. As soon as he sees MVP out, he will go in for the counterattack. It looks like MVP may just be waiting for his wall to complete. You can see that one SEV. It's like building the Great Wall of China, just slowly inching his way across the land. And, uh, well, Sella just getting Eunice out now. It looks like he's done droning. Let's see what he's at. 46 to 38. He should be taking another base, I would think. He's been gearing up so much for this one attack, but it just never, ever came. He does have a Banley's Nest up now, getting that Central Fugal Hooks. We do have a dropship with eight Marines coming in. There are Lings waiting for this dropship and plenty of Queens, so I don't think he's going to be able to do too much. And the Queen immediately moves out of position. Now the Marines get dropped. Going to try to take out what they can. One Queen could go down, but it does get transfused. Medvac gets lifted up and is going to be going away. It would be cute if Sela moves this Overlord down here and then extends the creep and uh, spreads it from the high ground to the low ground. And that drop did say, hey, you know what? Let's pull Sela's units back here, see what he has. And now we are going in for that siege up that Sela's been waiting for this entire time. Throws a scan, make sure there's no bird banelings waiting for him, taking out all the tumors. And the scan's also giving vision of this high ground. How will Sella deal with this? There's still the dropship just winning there. He is trying for that counter attack, but that is not successful. And now the units are going to be lifted up. And this is just like an octopus now. The Marines acting as the tentacles, the tanks acting as that giant ink spot that octopus can shoot. And here we go. Sella's going for it. He does take out a lot of the tanks. Family's taking out a lot of Marines. 
but two tanks survive with plenty of millions. He lost a lot of drones. These two millions just doing so much damage. Now the dropship is going to be taking up more. Unit count 39 drones, 244 SCV, so this is not unwinnable. It's just extremely unlikely. 60 to 90 supply. And this hatch looks like it may be going down soon. Muta's hat pops, so that dropship has to be careful now. And the Muta's going to clean this up, but more coming from MVP, and that will be the end of this game. I think there's nothing that Sela has to defend this next push. Unless he doesn't have vision of this high ground, the Muta's just pick off everything one by one. But I have to commend MVP. It was a great idea getting this entire wall up before he moved out. As he saw Sela really want to do that counter-attack. As soon as he saw MVP move out, he went in for that and then just was greeted by that wall. If he only had four banelings, he could have instantly busted that and then went on for the workers. And if he actually got through this wall, killed the workers with all those lings, MVP wouldn't be able to keep this reinforcement up as he'd be running out of minerals. So that was probably the move that ended up saving him. Mutas come in, kind of get fended off by Mr. and Marines while these are cleaning up this natural. Are they going to go up in the dropship? Yep. And the tank's going to be getting a few hits. Don't get any of those banelings. Wait, I may have misspoke. And there goes the GG from Sella. We will be going into game number two.